Hi there, this is Steve King once again. What I'm going to talk about today is failure versus fear. Uh, here's a list of some of the most successful people ever throughout modern history who never let individual failures actually stop them. Uh, number one, Henry Ford. He failed in his early business projects and was uh, left broke five times before he founded the Ford Motor Company. R.H. Macy, founder of Macy's Department Store. He started seven failed businesses before finally uh, hitting it big with his store in New York City. Uh, Walt Disney. He was fired by a newspaper editor because he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. And uh, after that, he started a number of businesses that didn't last long and ended with bankruptcy and with failure. Albert Epstein, uh, Einstein didn't speak until he was four years of age. And uh, at that point, he also didn't read until he was about seven years of age, which made his teachers and his parents think he was uh, somewhat mentally handicapped and slow and antisocial as a result. Jerry Seinfeld, uh, the first time he walked on stage, he actually froze and was jeered and booed off stage. Do you think he quit after that? Well, obviously not. He came back the next night and completed uh, his set to laughter and to applause. Uh, we've talked about these people because uh, it's important to recognize that uh, failure isn't something that has to last. We often fail in order to, to really learn and what is success, but it's usually at the end of a lot of failures. Uh, Truman Capote said failure is a condiment that actually uh, gives success its flavor. So I think we can all certainly uh, relate to that. When you think of uh, either rising to your greatness or uh, falling to our weaknesses, we have to think about what is it that keeps us going. And as someone once said, if you're going through hell, keep going. Itzhak Perlman himself said, sometimes it is the artist's task to find out how much music you can still make with what you have left. That was after some strings broke for him when he was playing one night. He realized that uh, he still can uh, get out there and play, but it just took a little extra thinking through, of course, and he was uh, uh, brilliant at what he did and uh, it saved him having to go off because you may remember it was difficult for him to walk. Marilyn Thornton said, the more you experience living your dreams, the more your dreams become your living experience. So your attitude determines if you're on the way or actually in the way. Gratitude beats complaining on an energetic level uh, every day and any day. So what is it? It's a state of being graceful, a state of being uh, in gratitude. And therefore, your gratitude has the power to shift energy from negative to positive. It changes the chemical balance in your body from toxic to healing. Discouragement and depression literally cannot survive a powerful dose of genuine gratitude. I think it was uh, um, Richard Regeer who uh, spoke about that. David Steindl Rast said, In daily life, we must see that it is not happiness that makes us grateful, but gratefulness that actually makes us happy. If you love life, it will always love you back. Langston Hughes said that hold fast to dreams for if, if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. If we think of the acronym for fear, fantasy expectations appearing real. Molly Gordon said fear takes unsupported premises about impending doom. It amplifies them and presents the alleged results as inevitable failure. Beth Fantasky said fear is the worst kind of grave because it buries one alive. Very true. Stacy J said, fear can force obedience, but it can never transform a heart. Cornelia Funk stated that uh, what you fear will not go away. It will take you into yourself and bless you and keep you. That's the world and we all live there. William Stafford said, fear kills everything, your mind, your heart, your imagination. Malcolm X said, children have a lesson adults should learn to not be ashamed of failing, but to get up and try again. Most of us adults are so afraid, so cautious, so safe, and therefore so shrinking and rigid, and afraid that it, that it is why so many humans fail. Most middle-aged adults have resigned themselves to some level of failure. It's better to die laughing than to live each moment in fear, someone once said as well. Jiddu Krishnamurti said, one is never afraid of the unknown, one is afraid of the known coming to an end. Janine Roth said, don't be afraid of your fears, they're not here to scare you. They're there to let you know that something is worth it. C. Joybell said, imagine not being frightened by any feeling. Imagine knowing that nothing will destroy you, that you are beyond any feeling and state, bigger than, vaster than, 
that there is no reason to use drugs because anything a drug could do would pale in comparison to knowing who you are. Thanks very much. Take care.